Our top story this morning is Samsung Group's chairman Lee Gun Hee died at the age of 78 on Sunday after spending six years in hospital since he suffered a heart attack in 2014. A four-day funeral is being held at the Samsung Medical Center in Seoul. For more on this, we connect live to our Pei Eunji, who's at the scene. Eunji, tell us more about the situation there. Mo Gyeon, I'm standing in front of the Samsung Medical Center in Seoul, where Samsung Group's chairman Lee Gun Hee died on Sunday morning. The hospital's funeral hall is currently packed with reporters, as the president of Samsung's affiliates are expected to come to pay their respects starting at 10 a.m. Several politicians also have been expressing their condolences. President Moon's chief of staff, Do Young Min, senior presidential secretary, Lee Ho Seung, and Gyeonggi-do province governor, Lee Jae Myung, visited the hospital and paid their respects yesterday evening. President Moon Jae-in sent a floral tribute and a message of condolence to Lee's family. Lee's death was mourned by the International Olympics Committee as well, as he had been an IOC member for more than a decade. The IOC said Lee had made a great contribution to the Olympic movement and the success of Olympic Games. So, um, Eunji, Samsung has reportedly said it will be a small funeral. Can you give us more details about how the funeral is being held? Lee's body was placed in a coffin about an hour ago at 9 a.m. Samsung said the funeral is being held privately following the wishes of Lee and his family. The funeral is expect expected to be four days long, ending with Lee's burial on Wednesday, as the number of visitors will be limited to fewer than 50 people as a precaution amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Samsung Group has set, set up an online memorial hall via the company's internal system for the employees of Samsung. That's all I have for you at this hour, and I'll be back with, the, with more updates in a later newscast. Back to you, Bogan.